It's another beautiful week, Mzansi. And as promised, we are back. This is Together, Bekeli Beke, Unpacked. Ikamala Mupume Zamdabe. And this is the show where we assist small business owners, the informal traders, and the side hustlers to get that expert business advice on how to rebuild and grow their business. Jenge Njoye Lega Angi Hambi Ngeto. Namsla Jenge Hamba Nei Mbogo. Joining me is Usis Masitza Namulelekeng, who is a community expert. Welcome back, Sisi. Thank you for having me again. And also joining us today is Ms. Dumi Sifule, who is an executive in lending at CIFA. Welcome, Dumi. Thank you for having me. And as usual, we have a theme for this week's discussion, and that is rebuilding. Let's take a look at our first small business owner's question for today. What is the best way to raise capital to help my business? So it depends, right? Um, what are you looking to use the money for and how big your business is? Um, my recommendation is that start off by trying to access uh, your softer capital or your cheaper capital which is your grants, because those are obviously, you don't have to pay it back. There are various organizations that offer grants, such as the Department of Small Business Development, as well as the Department of Trade and Industry and Competition. So make it your business to do that research and find out. Um, the next category is where you can access grants and loans, um, which is what is called blended financing. The great thing about that, if you're looking for 100,000, and 50,000 is a grant, you only pay back uh, 50,000. So it's a lot more affordable for you as a small business owner. Um, our organization, CIFA, offers a lot of programs, particularly for your micro and small businesses and even medium businesses um, that are blended finance, a combination of a grant and a loan. Wow, that is Capital 101. I just <laughs> came out of the, of the class learning about capital. Thank you so much. Ask us for to go to business on an Orlando Delay on a Tanda Obuzad. A Naki Bukali Honka business loan can acquire in a pandemic. From my personal experience, it is and it's not. It really depends on the nature of the loan that you want to take. The interest rates, as she mentioned earlier, how the, how important that is, and also how much you actually need for your business. Mm -hmm. You know, things like are you going to be able to recover after you've taken that loan? Can you make enough, um, you know, money to actually repay that loan? But also, financial institutions like NetBank offer such services where they give you advice on whether you know they can plan with you on whether you are eligible for a loan or not. Ladies, it was so lovely to have you. Thank you so much for making time and coming through to the show. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi again, Bugeli. That is how we come to the end of today's episode. This is Together, Bekeli Beke Unpacked, Ikamalamu Pumezam Dabe, and I will see you next time. Our featured small business owners receive financial support and mentorship from NetBank and its partners. We look forward to seeing their businesses succeed as they rebuild and grow.